Hello data leaders. You have been working with AWS service quite some time. You have got experience with various services that AWS has to offer. You want to upskill yourself and you want to learn how to automate it. When it comes to automating AWS services, Amazon themselves have developed three options. First and foremost is AWS CLI that you can use it on your command prompt. The second option is Boto3, a Python library that you can use it with Python program. And third is again a Python library called as AWS Wrangler, which has been renamed recently as AWS SDK for Pandas. I'll be continuing to call that library as AWS Wrangler and we will be using this library extensively in the in this videos. Without further ado, let me go to the first step that you have to execute. In order to establish a session between your Python program and the Amazon Web Services, you need to have a session. A session is kind of a connection that is established between you and Amazon. In order to establish this session, you are going to need access keys. That is the first step. Second, these access keys have to be kept safe. You are going to create secret.config file where you will keep the access keys. Third is starting to import Boto3, config parser and AWS Wrangler libraries and start setting up for creating the session. After you create the session, you are off to the races. You can start creating the resources, services and clients from the AWS console. How to get your credentials? In your AWS console, on top left, you will see your username. If you click that, you will get a dropdown like this. In the dropdown, you will find security credentials. Click that link. From that link, you will go to a new page where you can find the access key area. In the access key area, you will find create access key, status and actions. If you have not created any access keys, then you have to click this and you have to follow the steps the console provides you and you will get the access key downloaded to your local directory. If you already have the access key, ensure that the status is active. In order to, if the status is inactive, click on actions and make the status as active. Two points here. Keep your credentials very safe. If it falls on malicious hands, it can create a lot of monetary loss to you as well as considerable headache from the Amazon Web Services guys. Second, if you are not using the access keys, then make it inactive. In this way, you will avoid unwanted charges if any of the programs run without your knowledge. This both are very, very important. Keep it in your mind. How to create the secret.config text file? The secret.config text file will look will have these three lines, simple, these three lines. The words inside the square brackets are key words. The values are after the equal to sign here. So your AWS key is the value of the keyword key. Your AWS secret is the value of the keyword secret. You will understand soon how to use this secret.config file. In this page, you are seeing the entire command, entire series of commands that is required to establish a Boto session and create a S3 client. You start by importing the libraries. Then you start reading in the secret.config file that I showed you here. After reading that file, you can use the config parsers library to assign the values to Python variables. Assign the values of your key secret region to Python variables. In this way, the, the, the variables like key secret and region will not contain any of your data in plain sight. Think about it. If you don't have this sec reader AWS and key, in this place you will have the complete AWS key in open. How will I be able to present this presentation to you? It will not be possible. In order to make this 
things like these things possible this config parser library can be used after that you use boto3.session class and start creating the session this is this single line will create the session for you after that you can start creating the clients as per your need what will be seeing next next i'll be doing a demo on using the jupyter notebook to establish the session and i'll also be introducing github space where i will be sharing all this data the that i will be using in the forthcoming videos and i'll be going through various services like s3 athena glue not in the same same uh, uh, same order but in different order however i'll be covering all this in the series of videos that is going to come next and by the way if you have any questions if you need more clarifications on some aspects of the video do contact me by either messaging or sending out a comment i'll be happy to help you guys with without further ado i'll go to the next video and share go to the next video and look at how to get your first session in your python program see you guys